What is up guys, it's Jimbo here and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. In today's video, we're going to be going through the funnel web and whether or not this is Recluse 2.0. But before we do that, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, turn on the notification bell as always. But with that out of the way, let's jump into the video. So if you are a veteran player of Destiny 2, you know what Recluse is. Recluse was a insane weapon that dominated the meta for around about two years. It had an insane perk on it. It was a Void uh, SMG 900 RPM. And today I want to talk about the Funnel Web. The Funnel Web is a 900 RPM Void SMG. And with the setup that you can get on it, you're going to be able to put out a pretty decent amount of damage and also be able to shred through enemies. Will it be the same as the Master of Arms perk? I don't think so. Obviously, Recluse is in a league of its own, but I do think that this is going to be one of the best SMGs for the foreseeable future. If you want to know how to get hold of this weapon, you're going to get it from Drops. It's a World Drop weapon, and it will come with an Origin trait. I'll go over the origin trait in just a moment, but you can get this to drop pretty consistently if you are just playing the game right now. Uh, you get it from a variety of different uh, world drop areas. You also have a chance to get it from engrams and such. So yeah, get decrypting engrams and hopefully you will get one of these to drop. So let's quickly run through the origin trait and also just some stats on the weapon. The stats on the weapon, its impact is fairly low, obviously. Its range is about mid uh, stability is okay the handling on it is very good and the reload speed is decent as well and you have 39 in the magazine when you have appended mag on it but you will get a little bit less than that and i would recommend some perks in just a moment which would help increase the stability and also the magazine size but the vice stinger origin trait essentially well boils down to this when you damage an enemy uh, you have a small chance to reload the magazine and increase movement speed while aiming down sight. So it's kind of like a, a mini version of subsistence without actually having to get yourself kills. Um, but yeah, let's jump into the overall roles of the weapon and see why this is so good. Now that we've gone over the origin trait of the weapon, which is the Viced Stinger, let's actually talk about the role that I think is going to be best for the funnel web. Now, the good thing about the funnel web is it's like Recluse. It's very much a 900 RPM. Uh, it's got a lot of in the magazine. And due to that little uh, extra uh, origin trait that you can get on it, it's going to be very good for being able to uh, consistently put out a bunch of ag clear damage. I do think here you want to go full stability for the masterwork purely because then it keeps the recoil direction pretty good. Uh, and also maybe the range is, is something that you want to go for there. So when you are looking at the, uh, the the perks that you can get, if you can get something like, you know, small bore or polygonal rifling is pretty damn good. Hammer forge rifling may be decent. Uh, you, you basically want to spec into stability here, mainly because of the perks we'll be using that will allow you uh, to get uh, more handling when you are using this weapon um so in the second slot you could go with stability again you do, do lose that little bit of range go with the uh extended mag or you could go with tactical mag which i think is the best on it uh because it allows you to get one extra in the magazine the reload speed gets uh goes up uh, and then also um the stability as well uh, goes up now in this left hand column there are two perks that i think are awesome one perk that i think is like a eh Steady hands is pretty good because it does improve the uh, weapon handling when you get kills with the weapon. This is going to be perfect for the SMG. But I think you're missing out and you're leaving a lot on the table if you don't go for either subsistence or perpetual motion. Perpetual motion, as you can see here, when you are running around, you get times two. Gives you stability plus 10, 20 handling and 20 reload. So it makes it perfect for this gun. So you may want to run that or if you're like me and you want to use it um, with the subsistence, you could go, well, obviously, for subsistence. It allows you to get a reload in the magazine. And I think this is able to stack upon the uh, Vice Stinger as well. So you'll be able to get that to proc and this to proc as well. 
I have a perpetual motion roll and it's very, very good. So I'm going to keep hold of it for now uh, until I could potentially get myself a subsistence roll. But for this, I'm going to go with subsistence. The second column, there are another two perks that I would go with that are 100% uh, a decision that you have to make. Focus Fury is a, a perk that I'm going to just give an honorable mention to because it is uh, to do with precision damage, but I don't think you're going to be doing a lot of precision damage with the Funnel Web purely because it's a primary and it's you know a 900 RPM. You're going to be getting out all of that ammo very quickly, but you're not going to be using this to take out yellow bars um, compared to other weapons in the game. What I would recommend is a toss-up between Frenzy and also Adrenaline Junkie. When you are in combat for longer periods, so this could be in raids, in uh, nightfalls, like endgame stuff, I do think Frenzy is very good here. It has a 15% damage increase, 50 handling and 50 reload speed. So if you want that better handling and that better reload, um, then definitely go for this. My personal pick though, because it goes really well into a lot of builds, is Adrenaline Junkie. When you use this weapon, you gain increased damage and handling for the final blows that you get uh, with the weapon or with grenades. So if you throw out a grenade, the damage buff you get is a 33.3% damage buff, which is pretty damn insane. Combine on top of that, if you use yourself a uh, minor spec, which I believe is right... I'm trying to find where minor spec is. Uh, that's taken spec. Minor spec. So yeah, if you put minor spec on it as well, you do get some more uh, extra damage against the red bars. But Adrenaline Junkie is what you got to go with here. You get 20 handling, which is really good. You get uh, an increase from, you know, two stacks of Adrenaline Junkie is al almost the same as Frenzy, and it only takes two kills. Or a grenade kill will just get you there straight away. Um, literally insane. I think this gun is going to be the meta for PvE for quite a while for a lot of people. Um, the role that you can get on it, like... I have a perpetual motion and adrenaline junkie on this weapon. It's pretty damn insane. But let's go over my final thoughts of the weapon. With all that stuff out of the way, though, let's just talk about the weapon real quick. I think this is 100% Recluse 2.0, but not in the same way that Recluse was. I think there has been a place for a 900 Void SMG since Recluse left the game. It's just, it's not going to be as potent as a strong. You can use this with a ton of different builds. You can use exotics in the primary or the uh, heavy slot and use this as your uh, you know, energy weapon, which is very, very good. The stability and handling is very good on it as well. I have used this and my friend has got a different role to me and he says it feels just as nice with the role that he has. Uh, and I think it's a lot better than the uh, Death Adder that we got. I wasn't a big fan of that because I didn't like the perk selection on it. But Adrenaline Junkie is insane. Subsistence or Perpetual Motion. I have a Perpetual Motion Adrenaline Junkie uh, role and it's just as good. So it's down to, you know, do you want more in the magazine and reload less? Or do you want to hopefully extend that magazine out for shredding power? I'm not sure yet. I'll have to get both of the roles and try them out myself. But do I think this is Recluse 2.0? Yes. I definitely think this is going to dominate the meta for quite some time. It's going to be in a lot of Void builds, especially for me, when it comes down to using uh, some of the Void exotics. Even when I'm using Verity's Brow, this thing is going to be nuts for the Void class. So 100% get yourself farming a funnel web. But if this video has been helpful, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell as always. And this has been Jimbo. I'll see you guys next time.